gotten so much better now uh, because they don't until the ground underneath them, which is a very recent change. Did you go to a farm chest tour? I'm curious how every single one of them look. Sure, actually, I don't think I've uh, talked about this yet. Sorry. Well, actually, we can have this back. <laughs> Rather than just trashing it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, today is not super important. I don't think there's anything that's, like, pressing. So yeah, I'll just kind of go through my chests. Uh, I apologize in advance for the chest noises, <laughs> because I'm going to be clicking on them a lot. Uh, so these black chests here, this is where I keep all of my, um, kind of like mineral goods. Uh, these, um, these black stone chests down here is where I keep the uh, actual minerals. So the ones that you can only get from geodes and stuff. Uh, I'll check those in just a minute. But, um, I usually, when I organize like this, I have two stacks of every item, basically, in the chest. I have the one full stack that I need, and any extra there. And then I usually have an overflow chest, so that's down here. This is just extra stacks past the uh, single one that I keep. So for instance, once I get enough uh, gold bars here, that will go back down into that overflow chest. You'll notice I have the uh, gold quality quartz. I talked about that in Doug's video. Uh, it's a 1.0 exclusive item, but you can still take it and put it in the crystallariums and it'll give you gold quality quartz back. I technically could have had gold quality fire quartz, but I don't know what happened. I swear I had some. I must have just sold it. Okay. So this one is just kind of like ores and bars, and then I included the cinder shards and quartz in here too, because they kind of fit with that. This one's more of the uh, gems. Okay. Overloaded my Ami geodes here. I'm going to probably take these with me actually right now. One, I no. Maybe get rid of four of them. So, go in there. Gotta keep this lucky roll. Uh, so uh, these purple chests here, the dark purple, are mob drops. I overloaded this one too. Didn't even notice. So I've got like my bat wings and everything in here, and then this is the overflow chest for that. And then over here, I kind of keep just some miscellaneous things, even though it's kind of off uh, off the um, storage area. However, this is just useful to have around here. For instance, I have the battery packs in here. That's overflow from this chest. Um, I used to have a lot more battery packs, so I probably could still fit them in here. Uh, so these down here, these white chests, these are all like um, resources. So this is the main part of the resources. So I've got like all my bone fragments, clay, and all this. This is the overflow chest, mostly. You'll notice there's a few things missing here. Uh, that's because I overflow other things in separate places because I've got so much. So stone, wood, and then hardwood. I've got tons of for the moment. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming the stack error. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, I probably put like a, a thing on that that makes it look a little better, like a picture. It's surprisingly a lot of work to make all those pictures and get them the proper size and everything. Uh, these orange chests are the machines. So we've got, let's see here, here's my auto petters. I've got 16, but I've got like, I think eight more. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more uh, down there as well. Um, so I've gotten quite a few so far. Haven't exactly gone uh, Skull Caverns diving intensely yet, uh, but you can see some of the different things I have here. I only keep one stack in this because I would run out of room otherwise. I keep all my rare crows in here too, technically, and they're not craftables, but they fit along with this. Uh, this one is for decorations only, so these are the things I can either buy or only sometimes get a little of the Junimo statue and the Stone Owl. Uh, these kind of dark red chests, um, I have a few different things in them. So this one's all the uh, paths and gates and walls. Uh, this is kind of just miscellaneous. This is basically like my other chest. Just miscellaneous things that don't really have 
a perfect category to fit into. Like, technically, these sprinklers could probably go in there, but I kind of like them better here. I like life elixirs, torches, monster musk, all very huge variety of different things in here. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of like overflow for that chest, but also it's got its own things in here. I used to have like all of the totems in that one as well, but it overflowed. Basically, there wasn't enough room, so I kind of used this too. So the baits in this one, the magnet, the wild bait, all that, the bombs, the batteries, and then the totems, and explosive ammo. Uh, the Junimo statue, there's a secret note, so if you use the um, looking glass item one here, once you get that, you can start finding secret notes. One of them tells you that it's behind the community center. So it's just right back behind the community center. You gotta break it with a pick or an axe. Uh, and it respawns every spring. So the first, um, first day of every year it respawns, as long as you break it. Okay, so that's the uh, whole first row there. Uh, these down here, these are just um, swords, boots, and rings. I kind of have one copy of each in these. And then inside my house, I've got a whole bunch of other uh extras of these things kind of just like i don't technically need these but i think it's a cool place to have it all galaxy sword i forgot i enchanted that it's haymaker <laughs> that's funny yeah and then i said earlier these are my minerals so this is just all of them in one stack i think i sold the rest because i <laughs> don't anticipate myself needing more and if i do i'll just eventually be able to get them again pretty easily uh, let's see here. This is overflow for decorations. So I bought more than enough and I didn't feel like throwing them away. So I throw them in here. This is overflow for um, kind of like craftables. So I have a few extras of a bunch of different things. I just keep them in here. Uh, this is my extra tools chest. I have the torches in here too. Really don't need those torches, but I've been keeping them around. Uh, this one is uh, the trash chest. Uh, so Audrey, for some things, it's because I might need them. Like, if I need the bee huts again, I might as well keep them around. Um, the chests, sometimes I rearrange where I put chests and things along those lines, so I keep them around. Uh, everything else, it's just because I have the space, so I just kind of put them away. Um, it's just kind of convenient to have a chest like this, where it's like, oh, do I need some more lightning rods? Uh... I usually, won't oh, need light. I usually won't need lightning rods, but it's more along the lines of, like, oh, I can find somewhere to put them. I might as well set them down. Uh, sorry, who was that? Henry! Welcome! It's good to have you here. Okay. So, there. Uh, this dark blue chest, this is kind of like all the beet forges. I've got, like, algae, seaweed. See how criminally low my seaweed is right now. Uh, my white algae, cockles, mussels, oysters, clams, coral, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, I used to keep, um, what was it, like the crab pot stuff in here too, but I obviously ran out of room of that pretty quickly. Uh, so those are just mixed in with the fish. And then all of these, the fish are in here in alphabetical order. So we start here with albacore, and then it comes around here, and we end over here with wood skip. So there's so many S fish that I had to spread just the S fish over two different chests. <laughs> okay, so that's the bottom there. Uh, this green here, I almost never touch anymore. Uh, so the only ones I'm completely done with are the crab pot ones, and I finished those a long time ago. Um, but uh, I am finished with a few others as well. So, I think albacore is done in here. Yeah, albacore, uh, anchovy, blobfish, blue discus. Um, sunfish is done. I haven't brought it back yet. It's just over on the other side there. And then bream, I am working on right now. And then next, I'm going to do carp. So, I'm actually going to skip whole head for now. I'll come back to it later. Uh, and then after that will probably be crab. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do after I'm done with carp yet. Yeah, I'm going to keep them for now, because um, I still need Sunfish Row. You can actually see it on my uh, little list down there. <laughs> but um, as soon as that's done, yeah, I'll probably start switching it out for Carp. So that will be before the end of the year, probably. But I'm still quite a while away from finishing Sunfish Row. 
I need a stack of it. <laughs> so, um, you need the aged row, a whole stack of sunfish aged row, and then a whole stack of sunfish row. So I currently have the full stack of aged row, but now I need the full row. I finished the aged row, but I just, I still need just the regular stack. It goes pretty slowly. Um, if the fish is once per day, you'll get the fish finished before you'll get the row finished. Uh, so these light green chests are all flowers, so I needed a lot of space for that because they take up tons and tons of room. Uh, this is actually is really cool that these two different flowers with their different varieties like perfectly fit. Like with all qualities and all colors, they perfectly fit in this, which I thought was really interesting. Actually, it looks like we got a few extra, but yeah, basically perfectly fit. <laughs> uh, so sunflower is really nice, it barely takes up any room at all. And all those there. Uh, these two here, these light white, or I guess white <laughs> would be the best way to put it, uh, are for artifacts. So it's kind of weird. Some of them, see, some of them have the artifact tag and some of them do not. So the ones that don't, I keep in this chest along with just the first few that do. Because those stay in alphabetical order. So, uh, this big artifact chest here, this is pretty much all the rest of them, so they go in alphabetical order. At some point, Concerned Ape changed the way things alphabetize, so it used to alphabetize from like the bottom up, and now it alphabetizes from the top down. It's kind of strange <laughs> that that all switched up at some point. Alright, so uh, these here are my artisan goods. So we've got our berry rose, honey, all the different honeys in here. Uh, all the mayonnaise is in here. All of the um, tree goods are down here. That's all in one chest. And then I've got all of my, this is like kind of miscellaneous artisan goods. So I've got the cloth, the cheese, uh, the truffles. Truffles aren't technically artisan goods, but you'll notice they don't have any tag at all. So I keep them in this chest them technically being animal products. I could move them because I've moved my animal product chest to right here now. So I have most of my extra animal products uh, down by where the animal products go because I drop them off every time. But this is just my stacks of everything. Okay, above that is the fruits. So we've got uh, just our alphabetically first fruits here. And uh, the rest of the alphabetized fruits here. You'll see my wild plums is very close to being done, but not quite done. Oh, that looks to be a bot, doesn't it? How do I deal with it? Damn you. Eh. There we go. Ah! Didn't work. Are you getting uh, each type of wine, jelly, honey? Yes. So every part of it I'm grabbing. I, I don't know if that works. How do I time him out? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, and um, I pretty much already did get all the wine and stuff and jelly. All that's pretty much done. The only thing that's left is the fiddlehead stuff. Okay. Sorry, uh, forgive my <laughs> my lack of knowledge on Twitch and ease. Hello, Onion. Welcome. Okay. Interesting. Does it still show that chat, though? Oh, there's the buttons. There we go. I got it. <laughs> I knew they were there somewhere because I've done it before. I had to do it one time. 
but I've completely forgot how to <laughs> do it. There's just like convenient buttons right there and I totally did not see them at all. Okay, anyways, so we've got, yeah, so this is our fruit. Uh, I split it into two chests just so there was enough room in alphabetical order. Uh, sweet gem berries, weird. So um, I just put it in this chest so it doesn't go into alphabetical order because it's not listed as a fruit technically. The berry, so I guess it's technically a fruit. Uh, so I just put it in this chest because alphabetically that's where it goes, but technically speaking it would go like over here somewhere. I know. There we go. And uh, this is just a fruit that only comes from the... Uh, fruit trees. So rather than alphabetize that, I put it in a specific chest. Yeah, it does kind of feel weird. Um, and I'm sure people have something to say about tomatoes as well. <laughs> but I just go by what they're listed as. <laughs> so um, I only made the decision recently, uh, recently by the standards of this challenge, to do highest quality. So you will notice that some of them are in fact not the highest quality uh, so I will probably rectify that at some point probably when I'm done with money I'll use the ginger island farm and get them all at um, iridium star so uh, that will happen eventually but that's a little ways off by now uh, so these are the vegetables which fiddlehead ferns technically count as despite very obviously being a forge can't grow them in any way uh, and I've got the rest of my vegetables here and here. So I split them across three because there's a lot more, well, not a lot, but there's more vegetables and fruits. Okay. Uh, these, this huge amount of yellow here, these are all of my seeds. Uh, so there's a, and some fertilizer and stuff. Yeah, exactly, Onion. It's just, um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you got to pick a category and he chose that particular categories uh, so this is all my fertilizer I am completely done with fertilizer I recently finished hyper speed grow very recently actually uh, when I uh, was talking to Wallagug I don't think I had it done uh, so it is done now uh, so all these fertilizers are completely done I still use tree fertilizer a lot so I just make it as I need it uh, these are all of the normal seeds in alphabetical order they go across the bottom row here uh, these are all the tree seeds, so I've got all of the um, uh, the tree saplings that you can buy, plus some of the ones you can't. Uh, the tea saplings up here, as are all of the different kinds of tree seeds, and I put the grass starter in here because it needed a place. And then these are all of the forge seeds and the mixed seeds going here too. So winter seeds, summer seeds, spring seeds, mixed seeds, and fall seeds. Alphabetical order. <laughs> uh, up here are my forges. So these are all the different things that count as forges um, in alphabetical order, except for the mushrooms, and all the mushrooms go in this one because I've got a lot of common mushrooms. Turns out you get quite a few of those. <laughs> yeah, Onion, I, uh, I did a lot of work over the last uh, two days here. Uh, I also added some really fun emotes. I'm really uh, happy with how some of them turned out. I especially like this one. It's also a pun, <laughs> which I love. Uh, the cooking and wine. Uh, so the cooking, that's actually a really good question, Audrey. I'm glad you asked. Uh, cooking is in here. So I should color these chests or something, but I don't know, brown looks nice. So uh, this is all in alphabetical order. Starting with algae soup, we go through here. There's just one stack of each, so it's very easy to keep track of. A lot of cooking. <laughs> okay, and then it finishes off uh, with Vegetable Melody. Okay, uh, my This here is for uh, these casts down here. I totally forgot about it. Uh, I need to fill it up with 189 wine, so next time that's ready, it's ready to go. We can't easily get to this, but these are just overflow for artisan goods. So, uh, for instance, I've got a bunch of row that I don't really know what to do with, so I kind of just throw it in here. Uh, all of this is extra row as well, just in case I need the row for something. A whole bunch of extra jelly that I made too much of. A little bit of... Uh, this is overflow for food, so this is just extra food that I have. 
that I'm not exactly sure what to do with, so I just throw in these chests. Uh, this is... I need to move all these staircases. I kind of had all these here. Uh, this is where I keep explosive ammo, a few different types of food, in case I need them. These are the useful things. Can't find... Untaken Name. Yes, I remember. Uh, can't find Untaken Name. Yes, uh, I have considered doing that. Right now, I'm not too worried about it because I am getting quite a few slime eggs anyways from just various sources. But do you know if you can get, like, red slime eggs from that? Because that's the only one I really am worried about. You can get Galaxy Soul from that too, huh? I will have to look into that. That seems like a pretty interesting idea. So you use the harder mines. Ninety-three, ninety-six. Okay, where red slimes can spawn. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll look into that. Uh, this over here is extra furniture. I'm not going to bother to look through all that. Uh, these are my hats. So they're in alphabetical order, but I don't think I <laughs> cared enough to spread them out yet. Uh, they don't alphabetize when you click this. It's very strange, so I just kind of have to put them in by choice. So, for instance, I've got my garbage hats here. I thought I had more living hats than this. Maybe I have it somewhere else. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of cowboy hats. And uh, someone asked about uh, my Concerned Eight head, so that's right here. Uh, this, I think, are weapons? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's just shirts. <laughs> Uh, I can use a dresser, and I, for some reason, have not made a dresser yet. And I could just put all that stuff in there instead of having all these chests. Uh, but I didn't realize that for a while. These are pants, for some reason. All my shoes are in the green. These are weapons, and then these are all rings. Um, but I haven't really... Oh, I should see how many lucky rings I have. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of lucky rings that I'm not using. Okay, and that's pretty much all of my chests. Uh, Esther, I can't recall ever selling anything on accident that was, like, super important. Um, I've definitely sold things, like, that I didn't want to sell. But I don't think I've ever, like, sold a stack of something and been like, Oh, I needed that stack, that's... No, I don't think anything like that's quite happened. Uh, luckily with the... Uh, the way the shipping bin works, if you make a mistake, you can easily get it back. Uh, and now, with 1.5.5, you can buy back things that you sell to merchants as well. I'm not quite done, Audrey, so <laughs> you'll get a few more chests. If you considered using the slime egg presses. Yes, um, I actually did for a while, then I realized it really wasn't worth it. Uh, I need a lot of slime for a lot of different things, so using 100 slime per egg is not really worth it most of the time. Uh, once I finish with everything else for slime, maybe I'll start doing that again. But it's, uh, it gives a very um, lopsided uh, array here. Very annoying distribution here, but basically you can see how many more blue and green I have than uh, red and purple. Uh, so the slime egg press doesn't give you these as much. So in order to actually use the slime egg press to get a whole lot, I would get way too much of these and it would take forever to finish these. So I've just been looking for other ways to get them. And I think I know how I'm going to get the ones I need. Alright, so, uh, my, all my wine, juice, beer, all of that, that's up near my kegs. I keep that kind of separated because it's easier to drop off there. And uh, we're going to go see where all the other guard stuff is. So this is all the jarred stuff here, in alphabetical order. Which is kind of weird to put in alphabetical order, because first, it, for the jelly, it goes by alphabetically by the fruit, but for the pickles, it says pickled first, so all the pickles are together. So we go to pickles and then back to fruit at the end. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, down here will eventually be all my aged row. These two are different, despite having the exact same color. Albacore anchovy, blobfish, blue discus, bream, uh, lava eel, and sunfish. I've got a little bit of octopus row. I haven't touched octopus. Uh, octopi, that's... <laughs> octopi in a while. Uh, so I need three chests for all of the aged rows, so I just kind of have these here ready to go. 
Um, these three chests here, these are all for my fish pond quests. So I don't know if you watched basically, uh, it was a stream a while ago. I actually just put it on YouTube and I kind of talked about it on that. Uh, basically, I went through and saw every single quest that was possible. I did a little bit of averaging math and I figured out how many about of everything I would need for all the remaining fish pond quests. I put it in all of these chests here. So now, every time I get a quest, I know where to get all my stuff from that I need. Uh, and this, for now, this is just a way for me to keep things uh, organized near my fish ponds. Uh, so this has all the row, too. And I guess I guess eventually these chests are just going to be for the row. Um, but there's probably not enough space. So I'm going to have to figure that one out when I get to it. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to actually bring these sunfish back to where they belong. Uh, and you can see I'm at 334 sunfish. So that'll definitely be done by the end of the year. And you start the day. I only wasted about an hour, so I should be fine. 